guys, it's Erin, and I'm here with yet another haul for you. Um, I'm going to try and do this one standing up, so hopefully I don't, like, lean into the camera or anything. I, um, I spent a lot of January just, like, buying a bunch of stuff, and part of that came from being on the trip, and then part of that came from being home and realizing that my house is not as clean as I would like it, and kind of <laughs> storage lockery, and it'd be nice if they, you know, had some distractions from that. So, you know, I just went, you know, hey, there's new stuff from CHA, I could buy that. And, um, I also got a coupon in the mail from Pretty Little Studio that said, hey, here's a 15% off coupon, why don't you come and buy new products? And it's been, you know, over six months since I bought anything from there. So I thought, hey, I'll go check it out. And, um, I did find some stuff that I wanted. Unfortunately, I found holiday stuff, which, you know, is kind of weird because I don't actually like winter holiday at all. I, I have a hard time celebrating it. I don't like it in general. Um, and yet, I always seem to buy the stamps and the, the papers and all of that stuff. And so, then I make the excuse, oh, well, I can make holiday cards. And yet, whenever it comes to that fact of having to make the cards, then I'm like, oh, God, I have to make cards. So, it's really weird. And... But I still like buying the stuff, so I have some things that I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to give you a little peek at my art journal again, because A, I know you've been getting a lot of, um, you've been getting a lot of haul videos lately, and so I want to give you some content in them, as well as just, you know, promising that I am still making things. It's just, I'm making things that are kind of hard for me to film, and I know I've had some requests for filming my art journal stuff, but the the problem with that is the process is like five minutes here, three minutes there, two minutes there, you know, such and such. And I know those of you that have kids will understand that. I don't have kids, but I have ADHD. So it's kind of like every time I go off and look at something else or let something dry or this, that, and the other, it's really hard for me to be able to film that and then put it all together into a video that you guys can actually watch. So that's why I'm having a hard time, you know, being able to film something and show you other than, you know, one of the background type videos where I was just like, okay, let's just make a bunch of backgrounds for, you know. So if I do something like that, I will definitely film it, but it's it's kind of hard for me to just be like, okay, I'm going to make an art journal page, and it takes me, you know, three hours, but I did it two minutes at a time, you know, or five minutes here, or I drew something out here, and then I looked for something, and, you know, I played a video game in between. So it's really hard for me to film that kind of crazy ADHD process. Um, anyway, on to the haul. Uh, I got this little gift with my order. It was, they gave you a gift if you ordered $35 worth of stuff, and I ordered much more than that. So I got this little packet. It's, it's got, um, it's got some words. It's got some, it's got a little house in there. It's got a little thank you. And, um, it's basically a lot of the stuff that I ordered too, so it works out. Um, the first collection I got was the Woodland Christmas collection. <coughs> As you may or may not know, I live in the forest. I live in a place called uh, Big Bear Lake, California. And it's large enough you shouldn't be able to find me if I tell you that. Um, <laughs> but we are a small mountain town with ski resorts. We are basically LA ski resorts. And so we have a lot of trees and snow. There's snow right outside. So, you know, the whole woodland thing really does appeal to me because I've lived in it in the last 10 years. So, um... I, I really like the wood grain look of both the feathers, and then these are journaling cards, which are, um, these are 4 by 6 so it's a good size, and, um, these are all printed, this is, you know, Pretty Little Studio is a, a small business, so, you know, they're all printed within the person's house, I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, that's why you don't get 12 by 12 papers, which is the only bummer, but the cool thing is they've just done, um, 6 by 6 papers now. So you, you can buy an entire pack of just the 6x6 six six papers, and here you can see the whole woodland thing here. And then this pack comes with two each of the designs. I'm not a fan of this design, but I have a feeling that if I, like, art journal it or something. I don't really know what it is. I think it's, um, what is it? Oh, it looks like pine cones. Pine cones, see? Yeah. So, that's not so bad. But I think if I, like, art journal or mess around with it a bit, I can, I can you know, use it for that. But I also got it because I really like the colors. A lot of the stuff I bought because I like the colors, and it's not themed, because I'm not a big fan of themed stuff. So. Um, and the next thing I got was... Let's see if I can actually separate this out correctly. I have everything piled up, which is nice, but... Uh, focus. Focus. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. 
Got to get that camera to do the autofocus thing. Okay, so this is the Let's Go collection, which I bought this while we were still on our trip, and I thought, hey, I could use this in the Road Trip album. I can't. I bought 900 other products for the Road Trip album. You've seen them. I've done that. So that's not what I got. Um, but the good thing about this is, again, it's, you know, it, there's only one or two things that are specifically themed, like, hey, let's go on a road trip. So I can use it for other stuff. And so this one is the shipping tags, which again, they're just tags that are, um, they're just printed. They're not like specifically saying road trip or anything like themed like that. Um, and they are shipping tags, so they've got like the shipping pattern on them. You know, like the cancellation stamps, that's what those are called. So that's that. And the really nice thing about their packaging is, can you see how there's a pattern in the background here? You can actually use that pattern in your scrapbooking. Because, like, you know, just cut this part off and actually just use that because it's just an extra piece of paper, like a little scrap of paper. Um, so that's tags. I got little frames. They're nice and, they're you know, they're just paper, so they're nice and thin. I could have my Cameo do this, but do I want to be lazy and let them do it for me? Yes, I do. Because this way I don't have to cut into a full piece of paper and try and get the Cameo to register and blah, 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 and, you know, whatever. I, I can just buy this. It's easy. Um, here's all the different patterns on that that you can see. I have the light going, but I didn't want to put too much light on this, so I hope that, you know, you can actually see everything. Uh, and so that's frames. I got tags, frames, and stars. See, again, you see the pattern in the back there, so that's totally usable on everything. And then there's the stars in there. And again, they're, they're all so small and just cut. And so those are the patterns of those, and you get the three different sizes, which I like. I got um, these because they were on the, oh wait, were these on sale? Some of them, some of them, I don't know if it was these ones specifically, but I know that there were ones that were on sale for like 30 cents. And so it's just printed words on the sheet and, you know, things like scenic drive and freeway and highway and we got lost and stuff like that, which I am actually going to use in the road trip album because um, just this little pop of blue is going to work in the paper that I had. And, you know, like, it, it'll go good on photos and stuff. And I haven't completely finished the album yet, so I thought that would work. And then this is Days of the days of the Month, or the Months, rather. And then um, it says, Today we are currently favorite day off, that kind of thing. So I thought those are always usable, and I would just go ahead and pick those up. And then on to the papers. I got the 8x8 paper. I do, in general, like to get the loose papers just because she has a lot of patterns. Which is cool, but I don't need 932 patterns, because then I'll be, like, totally overwhelmed and not be able to buy it. So, um, these are all named after locations. Uh, so this is Dallas, which is obviously in Texas. And you see it's got, um, the nice, the nice strips and stuff. I used to, I usually like to go like this so you get a sampling of everything, but then there's this one that says, almost sort of says adventure. So I might use that. Or, you know, have it in a big, big strip so you can see adventure and then have it go all that way. Uh, I want to make sure that you get to see these properly because I know it's hard when you can't go to a store and check how, you know, how things look. These are all very thick papers, like you can see, you know, it's not, you know, tiny and thin. And I don't know if it actually says how thick they are. She might have it on her site somewhere, but... Um, Anyway, this is the Philadelphia paper. This is Quebec, which I'm smart and I know is in Canada. <laughs> I'm bad at geography, so me actually knowing where these places are is, is hilarious. Uh, San Diego, which is my state. And I really like the watercolor effect of this with the splotches on it, so it's something that I might do if I thought about it, but I'm usually too lazy to do something like that, so why not have it printed on the paper for me? The clouds, which are not only gorgeous, but if you look, you can see that the the pattern changes in little square formations. I really like that kind of a pattern. That one's Seattle in Washington. Siesta Key, I don't know where it is. It sounds, you know, vaguely Mexican, so, but I have no clue where that is. Or what state it's in. <laughs> Yellowstone. Which is... Idaho? Guessing. It's up there somewhere. <laughs> I haven't been to that one, sadly. This one's New Mexico, which is just the state, okay. 
and I love the uh, I love the stars. I always love anything involving stars. And what's really fun a bit funny about this is not only the pattern, but the colorway is very similar to um, Chamel's new release. So I might actually end up combining these things. Uh, Zurich. I don't know where Zurich is. I've heard of it, but I don't know where it is. So it's a nice triangle pattern. Very easy to work with. This is one of their foil papers, so it's not. It doesn't have a name. No, oh, this is Vancouver. Vancouver's in Canada. I know that. <laughs> And see, so you get a little sampling of all the other papers that are in this line. See, I didn't get this because we don't fly. Um, I didn't end up picking that one up. There's, you know, there's some of them that I didn't pick up. This one would be good for the Yellowstone one. Um, and florals I'm not a fan of, so I skipped that one. Um, but yeah, this one is foiled, so you can sort of see it shine there. It's silver foil. They do have a gold foil, but I don't like gold, so I didn't get that. But they do have um, a ton of different patterns that are foiled. So if this is something that you like, you definitely want to check that out. So that is the, what do they actually call it? It's actually called Let's Go. So that's the Let's Go collection. I'm going to cough, give me a second. <coughs> okay, and then I moved into the Christmas collection, which is technically called Merry and Bright. But I didn't really get anything in this one that's specifically Christmassy. So, you know, I'm calling it good. Go Aaron, right? Um, so this I did get for the road trip album. These are um, the days, the number tags, fruitcake number tags from the Merry and Bright collection. And there is a red and pink version, which I think would work really well if you were doing um, Valentine's. But um, I got this for the road trip album to put on the, the days and everything. Because it is in the colorways and it's not specifically for holiday. But it would work really good in your December Daily Journal if you were doing that. Uh, this is the Home Sweet Home die cuts. I hope that I'm not screwing with the camera too much by making this all close and having it focus. Uh, but they're just little house die cuts, and I really love little houses. I, I, I always want to stamp little houses, I always want to draw little houses, so I thought, you know, this would be a really cute addition to, you know, pretty much anything. I'm saying you know too much, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very aware of how weird I am, just so you know, like, I feel like, wow, she's weird, I know. <laughs> I can't help it, but I know. Um... This is the shipping tags, which are more Christmassy. You've got the you've got the um, the snowflakes and the Christmas trees, and this one says home, so you know, kind of home for the holidays, sort of thing. But um, I figured it would be a good good thing to mix in with my actual holiday stuff. And you know, if I did want to put it in the album, I have that option because uh, you know we had Christmas while we were on our road trip. So there you go. Uh, these are just the cutout labels. They have sticker labels too, but I got the cutout ones because why not? They're um, they're cheaper, and I think these ones are bigger. So there's that. So you just cut it out with your scissors. You can you can actually do it with your trimmer if you're you know precise. So that's pretty good. This is getting long. I hope it's not too long for you. I mean, I should, probably should have told everybody to have some coffee first. <laughs> I have coffee. You should have coffee. <laughs> This is the Merry and Bright uh, Wishes Green version, because there's a different version. I think there's a red version or something like that. Um, I love the star pattern. Like I said, these are these are very versatile for not just, like, holiday stuff. Obviously, this one, this one right here would be for the winter part, but the rest of it, you know, it could be for anything. I mean, you, it's just a, just a chevron pattern, right? It's called Trifle. This one's called Spearmint Tea, which is just, um, it's like a blue, blue and a green. It's hard for me to see, too, with all the lights actually shining on things. Um, again, this one's cool. This one's Holiday Love, but there's no, there's nothing here that specifically says this has to be for a holiday, so do whatever you want. This one is a little bit harder. I'm going to say this is very themed with, you know, of course, the gingerbreads and the, the, but... You know, it's not like I don't need any holiday stuff, right? Right? Uh, okay. <laughs> this one's fruitcake. This is figgy pudding, which I think is gorgeous. I love wood grain. And then we've got soft pastel colors and then the um, the snowflakes on it. And then this one, I want like 722 of these. And I, my only problem with Pretty Little Studio is they have such gorgeous prints like this, which I want to be a background, and they're only 8 by 8 <clears throat> <laughs> it's like if I want to put this in my 12 I can't I have to put it on something else and you know it's not like I can't use it but it does limit my options 
And the other thing that I got from this collection is the Merry and Bright 8x8 package. It's called Be Basics. And they have one that's actually just the paper collection, but I got the Basics one because how nice is this? You get stars and you get stripes. And um, if you look at a lot of my work, that's, that's mainly what I use all the time. And so here's all of what you get on there. So you get a stars, a stars paper and a stripes paper of each of the colors. It's a whole rainbow of colors, and I thought that that was great. That they, you know, combine stuff like that, and then you could take these basics and work with some of the patterns, or you can just use them by themselves, or work with other companies and mix those in. So, that was awesome. I was very happy to see that. And then these are why it took so long for me to actually get the package, because I didn't know it was pre-order when I was buying, but, you know, that's my problem. I never read anything. I'm pretty sure that it said very big that, you know, this collection was still pre-order. She hadn't gotten it in yet or printed it yet, or whatever it is she does, I don't know. Um, I don't even know if she's a she, I'm just assuming. <laughs> I literally know nothing. <laughs> I may sound like an advertisement, but I don't know anything, so, you know, I'm not actually advertising, I'm just, hey, look at this cool stuff I bought. Um, I'm a total dork today, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, this is the Wonderland collection by Pretty Little Studio, and it's a collection that's all winter stuff, but is, uh, like a soft blue, a light pink and we've got like a sort of mustard yellow and a couple of grays which I really love I mean take out the pink I mean I, I can still use the pink but anyway uh, these are 25 words winter wishes word tags is what it says um, and a lot of it, it says make a wish just because friends always missing you thank you love you sending smiles hello Stuff like that. Very usable words, especially if you're going to be using this for cards, which I was thinking I would kind of mix in. I have a lot of winter stuff. Um, I'm going to film a, a room tour soon, but I just had to move all of my winter stuff into its own box away from the Christmas stuff. So that's how much stuff I have for winter alone. But again, I live in the woods. It snows here. What do you want from me? <laughs> I like snow. It's pretty. So... Uh, this is 25 Sparkle City die cuts, which is, again, with the houses, because houses are awesome. So you can see all the different varieties you get there and the different colors in this line. I got the washi tape Wonder from the Wonderland collection. The only bummer about this is there's only one sheet. So it's just the 13 strips. So it wasn't really expensive. Like, I don't remember what price it was. It wasn't very expensive, but it's only 13 sheets. So if you like, if you want to use more than one, you got to buy more than one. Um, and I guess we're all spoiled by American Crafts. It gives you like 30 of those. <laughs> These are the sticker words, which is pretty much the same as the die cut words. Probably shouldn't have gotten both. I just pick one or the other. Um, but these ones are slightly bigger. So there's that. You can use them on a scrapbook page instead of just in little cards, maybe. That'd be a good idea. Uh, these ones, if you're a member of Coco Daisy, you're probably familiar with this configuration of embellishments. We just got one in the January kit. It wasn't this, obviously. It was different designs made for Coco Daisy, but this is the planner stickers. Oh, planner stickers. Why are these for planners? Why, why are hexagons for planners? I, I don't know. I don't know anything about planners. But um, I just thought they were cute. Like, hexagons are cute. So those are stickers. These are more words, which is, this one's like cocoa, and snowing, and frozen, and icy, and winter, and wet fun. And I have a lot of cool photos of us driving up when um, Big Bear had gotten the three feet of snow. Yes, three feet, all one Big Bear, and nobody bought all the milk, unlike the East Coast, which went all crazy. Um, <laughs> East Coast was all snowmageddon, we're all gonna die, and California was like, whatever. <laughs> But I have a lot of photos from that because there's there we, we got a ton of snow and then we all had to dig ourselves out because we had been on vacation so we weren't digging while we were here. Um, anyway, so I thought that that would work really well and that this collection in general would work really well for those photos. So I'm excited to use that. So look for those videos soon. Uh, these are colorful snowflakes, which it's just the one sheet. So yeah, there's no sheet behind this. It's just the one. But the packaging behind it also has snowflakes on, and like I was saying, you can use the packaging too. So, that's what you get. This one is just fun snowmen. I'm not sure I can actually work, the, work it into my style or whatever, because it is vintage, and I am not a vintage person. But I love snowmen, and I thought it was really cute that, you know, they have a little snowman feel. <coughs> if you are a vintage person, they have a ton of vintage stuff. 
vintage die cuts and all of that stuff with the little kids and everything. And it's very October afternoon without having to buy from October afternoon. So, <laughs> um, these are the Frosty's Arrow stickers, which I, I've enjoyed using the stickers before, so I thought I would pick them up from this one. Again, like, there's, there's the blue, there's the gray, and there's the mustard yellow. I mean, this isn't necessarily I have to use this for Christmas or holiday stuff. I use those colors all the time. And that's why I got, see, this is what I was talking about. You can get the stickers of the labels, which, see, stickers, 17 stickers, or you get 11 larger labels, which you just cut out. So, one or the other, whichever one you want to do, and if depending on what sizes you want to do. Serious, be quiet, please, I'm trying to film. It's behind me going, woof. <laughs> um, these are more scripted words, which I thought would be fun. I'm, I was just trying out stuff with these ones because I, I just looked through their embellishment thing. It got a lot larger since the last time I ordered, so I thought I would just try a bunch of different things and see how I would use them. There's fun things in here like coffee and chocolate and laugh and snowflakes and family and adventure, and I thought that was, you know, nice in this scripted thing to maybe, you know, sneak into, sneak into a layout but also work on cards. So there's that. Uh, getting into the paper... So I did buy the Wonderland pack, which has a bunch of paper. So it's a sorted paper pack, and then 8x8. And it's um, 14 sheets of paper, 80-pound cardstock. There you go. So it's right there, 80-pound cardstock, so you know that it's thick. Um, and then, so yeah, so you just get you get the 14, 14 sheets of all these different patterns. You can see them here, too. Bigger. Um, this one has like words and stuff, this one has cool feathers, this one has bigger words, this one is like a, a watercolor type background, mm, see if I can show it without it shining too much for you, um, and then the general stripes and stuff, and on top of that I also ordered, see here's another one of those fo foil ones, this is also silver foil, but see how shiny that is, isn't that gorgeous, and it's not raised or divoted in any way, or embossed I guess you could say, um, so it's just a, it's just a smooth printing. So there's that. And then I also got foil snowflakes. How gorgeous is that, right? Yes. Love it. Uh, and this one is actually, um, vellum. So you can see the printed vellum there. And there's a pet, there's a paper of this too. So you can just get the paper. I, I might even have the paper in here. Yes, I do. See? So there's the paper version. And there's the vellum version, and since they do their own stuff, they can do whatever they want, so they, they did that. Uh, so this is stars, stars on wood grain, because, I mean, if there's anything I like, it's stars and wood grain. Let's combine them. <laughs> and then this one is snowy trees. So there's that. This is all of those words and stuff just printed onto the paper. It's called s'mores. That's fun. This is colorful, you know, it's kind of an ombre, but it's got, well, I guess it's not because ombre is just one color. This is a bunch of colors. Uh, with the stars, I didn't get the stars. I'm pretty sure they had star die cuts for this one, too, but I thought I would just try something different. So I got 900 different embellishments for Woodland instead. Or Wonderland, sorry. Uh, this is just the, uh, the snowflakes. Snowflakes are always usable. It's called Marshmallow. And this is the mint version. I'm pretty sure that these also have like a pink version and a green version and stuff like that. Not green, yellow. Um, this is Let It Snow. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it means let it snow, not let is snow. Maybe it's <laughs> not. I don't know. That's one heck of a typo because it's done twice. But you see how they do the different colorways. So here's the ice version, which is a, which is a, a bluish. And then here's the gray version. So that's obviously the gray. So you can see that they do different colors of the same paper. This one came in my pack, but um, I got another one because it's called It's Cold. And again, this is not going to just be used for holiday. I mean, this is a totally usable pattern for literally everything. So, like I said, I'll make videos and you can see how it's done. Oh, apparently I have two of these and I had no clue. So, there's another one with the stars and the wood grain. And then the wood grain just by itself, which is called Fireplace. And then Blustery, which has this gorgeous feather on it. How wonderful is that feather? I just want to, like, slap this on a 12 by 12 and be like, bam. That's it. Just not do anything to it. Maybe put a photo there. Done. <laughs> um, this one's called Coffee, because that makes any sort of sense. Um, <laughs> I think they're just finding words. Uh, anyway, it has all of the different stripes, which, again, I like to use it in, you know, little strips like that so you see all the patterns. 
And then this one's coffee and cream, where the stripes go both ways, which is cool. And then we've got the hexagons, because hexagons are awesome. This one's called precipitation, which is a fun word to know and say. All right, so that is it for the actual haul. If you want to stick around for, you know, checking out what I've actually been making, here are a, fun, a couple of things in my art journal. Um, you saw all of these things, blah, blah, blah. This is me cleaning off a stencil, because why not? Uh, okay, so this, in one of the videos, probably the last one that you saw, <coughs> I got um, a jelly plate, right, and stuff to do jelly printing, and um, that deli paper stuff. So this is what I did with the deli print or deli paper when I when I printed on it. So um, you can see that you can't see that those, la there's actually four layers on here. There's four different layers of deli paper and you can't actually see it because of the gel medium that's holding it all on there. So it has made this a non-porous surface so it's actually kind of shiny. Uh, I don't know if I can make it shine. There. You see it shine? That's from the gel medium and then the glitter part is actually what I did through a stencil it's kind of hard to see on the video, but um, in real life it's actually um, raised and glitter and beads. It's um, this medium, here let me show you. It's this medium from Faber-Castell, uh, not gel medium. It's glass bead glitter gel, which is super crazy, right? It's this stuff, and um, it's super thick, and you just kind of put it through your stencil, it's sticky too. You just kind of put it through your stencil and you know scrape it over with a scraper or a you know a card or something like that. But see how see how shiny it is? It's awesome. But then of course the glitter is completely contained so you don't have to worry about it flaking off and you know getting on your stuff and your <coughs> husband and your dog and serious hush. <coughs> hush! Daddy's not home. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the most well behaved one is the one that has to, you know, make a noise on camera. Shush! Bad dog. Trying to talk to all the lovely people. Okay. <laughs> uh, here's an art journal thing that I made, which you've probably already seen. Uh, here is a drawing that I made that I ended up, you know, actually coloring with India ink. And I think you probably saw the drawing, but here it is colored because fish are awesome. And um, I just did a quote and then I did some actual journaling here because I was having a, a really hard time breathing. So, you know, it was just a bad day. Uh, my husband says he's leaving work now. That's what my phone is telling me. And to show you, okay, here's another deli print background that I did. And that's a panda, if you can't tell, but it is. It's a panda. I felt like pandas that day. Um, again, you can't tell where the paper ends, but I just put that on there. And then I'm keeping the ones that I have done in here like this. You can see there's four different printings on there. I just kind of kept layering it and layering it. So those are all for backgrounds that I can use whenever I want, which would be super fun. And then here's the purple one that I did. I'm so organized. I just you know cut them up and put them in my put them in my journal for like here. This is where I mean because where am I going to store them? I have no idea. And then these are fun. I made foil tape out of packing tape and foil. You just take a stencil over it, push the stencil in, and then plop the uh, the foil on it. It's super fun. And so since you're doing it twice, you get two, you know, the reverse of each other. See? Isn't that neat? That way you don't have to, you know, ruin any foil or waste any foil, and you've got this nice pattern. And it didn't require anything but packing tape. I already have packing tape because we sell, you know, we send boxes. So that's fun. So that's, and then this is me cleaning off my brayer. So when you're doing the jelly printing and everything, you just roll your brayer through your uh, through your art journal or roll it on another piece of deli paper. There's 500 in that pack that I bought. So just roll it through there and you've got another, you know, deli printed thing. I tried it with the regular acrylic first, the Liquitex acrylic, and I did not like how the paint mushed together and stuff like that. So this is, I actually ended up using the Dilutions paint and that's what all these ones are except for this one. This is the regular acrylic and see I don't like it. It was too thick and it didn't it didn't meld together right. It made a lot of brown which is not something I'm accustomed to. 
And then here's another. I have two originals because when one's drying, you need some, to do something with the other one. Uh, all of these ones you've seen already. So yeah, this one, I found a girl in that weird mess that I had. If you saw the other video, I showed that there's just this me testing testing out the little pen and then cleaning off a stencil. So I found a girl in there. I don't know what she's doing, but she looks sad. So I had a sad day and I made a sad person. There you go. Uh, there's the birds again. What else? I know I did something else. I know I did something. There we are. Okay. So I did this with one of the, this is one of the backgrounds that I filmed me making in that other video, the, you know, the art journal video or whatever, making the backgrounds. I did the white drops are me cleaning off the stencil, so I did that. I just, you know, mushed the stencil onto there. Uh, he is actually done on deli paper because I was worried that he wouldn't come through correctly. So he was done on deli paper and then just put, I put gel medium to get him on there. Uh, he's, he's done in distress ink. And I put through a stencil the, the stars. You can see little star parts on him. There's stars over here. And then I did the writing, and I thought, you know what? This needs something. I don't know what it needs. It apparently needed leaves. So that's what I did. It was really kind of freaky, and it even messed up over here. So you have to kind of get over your perfectionism, which is really hard for me because I, I, I want these mediums to bend to my will, not the other way around. But, um... But I think that it ended up working out correctly. Uh, see, that, that stencil messed up there, too, so the white one. So it's not that big of a deal. So there's that. And then this is more me cleaning off a, uh, a stencil and then one of the stamp, one of the distress thingies. So you just always cleaning off a stencil onto the background. Just always be building stuff up, even if you're not actually going to use it. These are the backgrounds I did. This is me cleaning off a stencil again onto my mask paper. This is just mask so that, you know, I don't get mess on the other one. Cleaning off a stencil again on that background, so building up those layers. I'll show you if I actually do something with this. I could have sworn there was another thing, but I guess not. So, yeah, that's it. And you can see the actual working with the deli, or the jelly page, that you, or plate that you saw last time. You see all these lovely things that I got from Pretty Little Studio, which probably won't end up in my art journals, but will end up on scrapbook pages that you can watch. This has been super long, and I probably talk too fast, so I'm sorry. Um, but I hope you like my projects. I hope you like the stuff that I bought. Um, I also got today, just today, is um, the Vibrant Turquoise paint. And I have pink coming tomorrow, which I'm not going to film just pink. Probably not. Uh, unless I tack it onto this video, which I was tending to do, but this is long. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to be able to add turquoise to my art journal, which I'm very excited about. So, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. And, bye! <laughs>